Let's talk to Rudy Giuliani, President uh, Donald Trump's attorney and former mayor of New York City. Rudy, good morning. Is she right? <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time reacting to that. I mean, there's a, there's a woman who really obstructed justice. The president didn't uh, delete 33,000 emails. He didn't have somebody smash up telephones. And he didn't have someone wipe out a server and bleach bit it, um, among the few things that she did. Uh, the president was innocent of the underlying crime. That's conceded. Collusion. Co collusion, delusion, right? No collusion. If you're innocent of the underlying crime, then everything they're talking about is an effort for him to defend himself. So if I tell somebody that I'm innocent, please testify on my behalf and say what happened. Am I obstructing justice or am I defending myself and, and serving justice? But these demented prosecutors who turn the uh, thing into he has to exonerate himself, never heard that in American law or English law or Roman law or any law, they turned it into we assume he's guilty. So if he says to somebody, don't cooperate or cooperate. He's saying it because he wants the truth to come out. And what he said was cooperate, but tell the truth. But they don't buy that it's the truth. To this day, they don't buy there's no collusion. They had two investigations to prove it. The FBI counterintelligence investigation, in the words of Peter Strzok, no, they're there. Mm -hmm. And then this one. How this ever got started in the first place is the next investigation. Right, but, but Hillary and Ms. Clinton, Ms. Clinton better get a lawyer well, because... She, she said that the reason he wasn't indicted is because there's a DOJ standing policy. You there is. There used to be a D DOJ standing policy. You cannot indict a Clinton no matter how much they obstruct justice, no matter how much evidence they destroy, no matter how often they lie, and no matter that they committed perjury. You can't indict a Clinton. It's against the uh. Democrat Justice Department rules. This is not a Democrat Justice Department, it's not a Republican Justice Department. It's the kind of Justice Department I work for. I prosecuted Republicans and Democrats, and I didn't think either one of them had a monopoly on virtue of vice. So do you think William Barr is actually going to follow up and hold people? I have absolutely no doubt. Uh, I have no inside information, zero, other than the fact that this is a man who believes in justice. If you believe in justice, this can't help but anger you and frighten you. If this can be done to the President of the United States, a frame-up like this, it can be done to any of us. And believe me, this wasn't by accident. This wasn't like, oh, this, we're gonna, this collusion. Something like this has all the markings of rogue counterintelligence guys setting up Papadopoulos, setting up the meeting with Don Jr., starting an investigation based on what Papadopoulos said is worthless. He just said, the Russians have dirty information. And they start this gigantic investigation. Comey starts it right after he finishes with Hillary. And he takes the same people who investigated Hillary who were in love with her. Peter Strzok and hated Trump, puts them in charge of it. All those things have to be explored and more. And I ask you to keep your eye on Ukraine. Because in Ukraine, a lot of the dirty work was done in digging up the information. American officials were used. Ukrainian officials were used. That's like collusion with the Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. And uh, or actually, in this case, conspiracy with the Ukrainians. I think it gets some interesting information about Joe Biden uh, from uh, Ukraine, about his son, Hunter Biden, about a company he was on the board of for years, dealings. which may be one of the most crooked companies in Ukraine, Ukrainian Russian company. Not not a Ukrainian, you know, big difference there. Yanukovych, the guy they tossed out and Manafort got in all the trouble with. He, he the guy who owns it worked for Yanukovych pulled 10 billion out of the Ukraine, has been a fugitive, was a fugitive when Biden's kid first went to work there. And Biden bragged about the fact that he got the prosecutor general fired. Prosecutor general was investigating his son. And then well, the investigation went south. I'm sure we're going to hear more about that now that Joe's getting in. What, something that struck me is when Hillary Clinton said, if it were anyone else, they would have been indicted. I thought, that's what everyone said about you after James Comey had that press conference when you committed the crime well, I'm of not... using your secret emails and then smashing them, bleach bidding, which shows intent. But anyway, let's move on to a different topic. <laughs> the president... at, at Comey came to just the opposite conclusion. There was no proof of intent. Hmm. That's the, no and, reasonable and she made And she made several false statements, <clears throat> and she had her people destroyed. And, and not to mention... And none of them were indicted. I know. How about the guy who actually did it? Boom, boom, boom. They weren't indicted. Nobody tried to turn them the way they put Manafort in jail and in solitary confinement to turn him. 
I mean, they used every lever at their disposal to get him. It was an enthusiastic, overzealous, I believe, unethical group of prosecutors. Some of them with a long history of lack yeah. of ethics. And they still couldn't get him. So back to the Mueller report. Uh, th they still they're... couldn't get him. They, even they <laughs> couldn't make an obstruction case. So they had to throw all this garbage out and then leave a lot of facts out, which they did. Yeah. You, you read about Cohen. You don't read about why you can't believe Cohen. They had a duty to lay out the things that make Cohen's testimony incredible. The fact that he purged himself in front of Congress a couple of weeks ago, for which he should be indicted. Well, speaking for of, sure. In front of Congress. Now, there have been these reports that the president. For sure. You're on the inside that the president uh, is upset that aides testified uh, in front of Congress and they were taking notes and, and that was using the Mueller report. Quote, there was no reason to go any further, and especially in Congress where it's very partisan, obviously very partisan. I allowed my lawyers and all the people to go and testify to Mueller, and you know how I feel about that whole group of people that did the Mueller report. I was so transparent. They testified for so many hours. The president says they have all that information that, that has been given. I could have taken the absolute opposite route. He's talking about the fact that he could have invoked executive privilege. I Clinton did. I Clinton did. Plus, day after plus day after Don day McCann after day. To show up and well, now, before it now he's already he's given him everything. I'm not making this decision. This is White House counsel, executive privilege. I wouldn't give him a damn thing. I'd make them go to court and justify their investigation. I don't think they can. I'd also have, have them go to court and say, how can we expect fairness when a guy like Cohen comes in front of you? Uh, Elijah Cummings says, I'm going to throw the book at you if you lie. And then he insults Cummings by lying to him at least seven times. I'll give you just one quickly, just like that. I never asked for a pardon. Read the report. The report says he asked for a pardon. I know he asked for a pardon because he asked me through his lawyer for a pardon. His lawyer has testified he asked for a, for a pardon. Another one of his lawyers. I got five witnesses Are for that one. After him I for never a, asked for a job. Surgery? I'll get Chris Cuomo's tape where two days after the election, he says, I want to be chief of staff, and I'll play it against his tape, which says, I never asked for a job. Perjury. Perjury. Now, if you're Are conducting... Go after him? Well, if Cummings doesn't go after him, if Cummings doesn't join the referral, then I would say he has proven he is an illegitimate chairman who is conducting a, 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 a committee hearing for the Democratic National Committee, not for Congress. This is not a congressional hearing. They're making a mockery of a congressional hearing. What legislation are they going to pass? Don't commit perjury? What are they going to pass with his taxes? IRS has investigated his taxes. They exist to come after us if we don't pay our taxes. We know they're damn good. And they're confidential and they don't leak. Mm. If they haven't gone after him on taxes for that, that six year period, then there's nothing wrong with his taxes. Then they can't investigate his taxes better than the IRS. <laughs> they want his taxes to embarrass him. Because it's, you know it's any, all, any, you, any- You know, it's just all political. And, and so that's, that's why a, a court has a very good chance okay. of ruling this is obstructive, this is harassment, this is not the proper use of legislative power, right. but fight every subpoena. They are entitled to nothing. This is like the judge saying, uh, I'm going to hang you, but let's have a little trial first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mayor, always a pleasure. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Wide-ranging. <laughs> that is just yep. And the Yankees are doing well. Well, that's because... I pray to God. <laughs> All right. I All pray right. for the Would Yankees. I probably shouldn't. It's probably the wrong thing to pray about. Thank you, Rudy.